Dory Leaderboard going into the final table. Vince Pat Quinn out in front, followed by Maxime Aru and David Peters. And our next three players all just a little below one million. David has been on an incredible tear at live poker the last few years. He was somebody that I was battling against online 10 and 12 years ago, and he has transitioned so well to the live arena. This site right here loves to play here all the time. So that's why I always see him here. Yeah, and he's calling. And the flop is an ace-king nine. Not much there for Maxime either. He's gonna check it. Yeah, nothing for David Peters here, but he's still gonna continuation bet and just hope that Maxime hasn't caught enough to continue. Yeah, that's 120. And Maxime has a little piece here. He has a gut shot straight draw and he has a backdoor flush draw with that jack of clubs. So he is going to continue. And I would assume if David checks back on the turn, Maxime intends to bluff the river, but now he has a pair. That's right, Maxime hitting jacks. 450. He's got guts, that's what he's got. He's betting 450 with nothing but six high. Peter just keeps pushing. He could have an yeah, ace, he could have a time. king very easily, <laughs> and that's gonna do it. Very tight in the early goings, seeing whether one of his opponents that's very short gets eliminated before him, but not gonna pass up an opportunity to play pocket jacks. Yeah, it makes it 170 to go. Brendan not gonna play it, and he's also out of here, but Dave Peters with a nice king 10 in the big blind. He will definitely compete. And here we go with the flop. It's a 10 8 5. So Peters hit the tens. Gin flop for Derek, awful flop for David. And Derek is so short here that it seems very likely that the money goes in on the flop. And Peters might think he's got him well covered. Come on. Yeah, that's the time to do it. He's going to push them all in. Derek looks back down at the over pair. And of course he makes this call. That's true, but you have to be over 90 to do that. Seven on the turn. <laughs> Otherwise he's going to double up. Yeah, he's uh, going to double up Derek here. Queen on the river. Okay, David Peters with King Queen suited here first to act. Of course he is all in for his last seven blinds. Then he folds it. Good luck, brother. All right, and now the pump man wakes up with Ace Jack, though. And he has made the call. Getting the right price. Oh, no, a flop of an Ace 7 6. Not good for Peters. Oh, okay. Whoa. Four flush now for Peters. There's yeah. some hope. Wow, just like that, with the 10 of clubs on the river, David Peters is eliminated in sixth place. I said he was the man to beat tonight, but unfortunately just could not find a hand. To All right, here's a look at our updated leaderboard. Pat and Max sharing the chip lead at this stage. Derek Walters in third place, Eric Afriot in fourth, and our short stack, Brendan Box, with just eight big blinds hanging around. All right, now look at this. Maxime with just nine four is going to shove all in. But he's going to get called because Derek Walters has a real hand this time. Picks up ace queen. Turn. It's a three. That's pretty safe there for Walters. Well, Max. Very casual. Ten of diamonds on the river. It's going to work out for Derek. <laughs> Derek Walters raised up ace jack offsuit on the button. Pat made the call in the big blind with six four offsuit. And he's flopped a gut shot here, but not much else. He's gonna check. So Derek will take a stab. 175. Pat will make this call. Little bit of a loose call, so I wonder if he intends to bluff the river if he ends up missing and the turn goes check, check. Seven on the turn, Pat's gonna check. Derek also gonna check. He's out in front, three on the river. Nice. There's a lot of stuff that Pat can have that has missed here, including hearts, four, five, six, four, six, five. Right. Well, right now he's been bet 650. And this would be a heck of a call if she'd ever call this with Ace High. And I'd like to point out that I love the way Pat is playing this hand. He's he doing it. the river and wow, what a call by Derek. Whoa. Call of the night right there. And he will raise the 200,000. Look at this, Derek with Ace King just calling. I like this call from Derek very much. He's in third chip position right now, and he's well ahead of Brendan and Eric, so he doesn't want to take any unnecessary risks to get eliminated here. 
Well, the flop comes up jack, four, three, all clubs. What a flop here, Vince. Derek with two over cards and the king high flush draw. Max with the best hand pair of tens and a flush draw. And Pat, ace high with the ace high flush draw. A couple checks and now Derek with just the ace king, but the big king of clubs is gonna bet it, 350. Pat certainly not going away. Looks like he's gonna call. And he appears to be reaching for raising chips. Oh boy, he's gonna try to squeeze this here. Wow. Little does he know what's behind him. Yes, he's made a 1.2 million total. Huh. I guess he's saying I'm willing to get all in against Derek and I want to define Pat's range here a little better. Derek goes out and wish for a club or an ace. Yeah, Pat obviously looking for a club, an ace with, oh, oh. oh. yeah, that'll give him the best hand. Beautiful card, ace is there for Patrick. Now, when someone like Max check raises two players on this monotone board, I don't know that Pat can feel super confident that his ace is good yet, That's but after true. it goes check check on the turn, now he's likely feeling better. And a six, so no flush. Pat will check it again. Maxime feels he's beat. I would be stunned if Max did anything but check here. Is he yep. gonna take a stab? No, he's gonna check it, and Pat shows the ace, and he's gonna extend the chip lead right now. And Brendan, hoping for just anything good like an ace. That's pretty good in this spot. Yep, Brendan will make this call. And so his tournament life on the line again. Just don't run a boat out though. <laughs> Going to the turn. It's a queen, oh man. Oh, what a card. Can he get lucky? No, it's a nine. Brandon gonna be eliminated in fourth place. Derek Walters scores the elimination. All right, there's an updated leaderboard. Maxime Aru above eight million. Derek Walters at six, and Pat Quinn a little above four million. And he's 20,000. Line 6120. Here we go down to the money pit. Derek Walters. He's from Tempe, Arizona, and he will raise this up to 250 to go. Pat Quinn goes out. Max here with an ace deuce in the big blind. It's gonna make the call. Yeah, Max is 26 years old. Poker Pro lives right down the road here from Playground Poker. He's got a lot of friends here. And here's the flop, it's an ace jack four. There's two diamonds. Good flop for both players. Max top pair, Derek with the flush draw. We'll see some chips go in. Yeah, Derek gonna make that continuation bet. 205 with the four flush. And Max, of course, hitting aces. Okie dokie calls. The two chip leaders competing. And a diamond on the turn gives a flush to Derek Walters. There it is. Derek's definitely going to bet here. And I would be very surprised if Max gave up on his top pair that easily. So the real decision for Max in this hand is going to be on the river. Well, Derek's gonna bet again, 500. Max doesn't believe it necessarily. Yeah, Max is calling because he knows that Derek can be double barreling here with a number of hands that are still drawing and he would be exploited if he gave up on all his top hands. Last card is a five. Doesn't change anything. And the man with the flush, Derek Walters now. Mm-hmm. He's got to decide a bet size. There's two million out there. How much can I make for my victim? Well, there it is, 1.4 he wants. Nice big bet. Sometimes a, a bigger bet looks weaker. And sometimes a smaller bet looks stronger. That's the beauty of poker. And Max with a difficult decision here. And no, he can't get the call. Maxime escapes. Yep, good fold from Max there. Pat was born in Canada, grew up in Ireland, and then he returned to Canada at age 21. 
Now Max here with the ace do suited in the big blind. Pat's pretty short. A lot of players would just go all in. Max elects to check here. Ace check nine on the flop. That is nice for Max. The local, born and raised here in Montreal. Pat does have a little piece here. He has a gut shot to the 10. Maxime, with top pair, elects to check back. Here we go to the turn. A four. Well, after Max checked back, it looks like Pat is going to take a stab at this pot for 425000 Yeah, Pat, with really nothing, has a lot of gears to his game for a non-professional player. And like he said before, if he doesn't have the hand, he gives a lot of dirty looks. Hmm, that's right. Right? Yeah, and he's giving a dirty look to Max right now, praying that he will go away, but Max with top hair is absolutely not going to do that. Oh yeah, he has just nurtured this hand along. And a river card, eight. So now Pat has a little piece of that. And that and That's what he'll do for 750,000. He wants to hurt the short stack. And now Pat, who is trying to steal, has a little something there. Can he get away? Just muck it and move on. And he's going to do the right thing. Lays that down. Max with the king nine of diamonds, raising the button to 300,000 here. Derek has a seven in the small. Let's that go. And Pat in the big blind with king three suited. We'll make this call. All right, so king nine versus king three. Here is the flop. It's at seven, seven, nine. Derek Waltz was kicking himself. He had a seven. Nice flop for Max here. We've seen him check back in a lot of these spots, and he does it again. Ten on the turn. Well, Pat has nothing here. No pair, no draw. Be surprised if he puts much in this pot. What to do? when you have nothing. Come on. Oh, oh my well, God. That's what you do. That's Whoa. what you do. He just went all in for three times the size of the pot and with just no pair, no draw, no nothing. And Max must be so confused. He checked back like, okay, I hope this guy bets the turn. I can't wait to call. But then he shoves for three times the size of the pot and Max has to wonder, does he have a 10? Does he have a 7? Or is he just drawing? And as it turns out, he just has nothing. Yeah, but Pat Quinn has the guts to make that kind of bet. Push his man out. It's going to work. Pat Quinn, pump man, looking good right there. Show the block. Eight deuce of spades. <laughs> I mean, ace deuce of spades would be reasonable, but no, dog. He had king three of hearts. What the hell? I think I maybe like a call. Maybe. Yeah, right. His card's starting to get a little bit better. He will make a raise to 350 total. And right behind him, Maxime with the mid pair of sevens. Right, and when Pat has about 20-ish blinds here, a lot of players in Max's shoes would three bet and just try and get the money in pre-flop. Looks like Max is just gonna call with his sevens. Uh-huh, and now into Derek Walters. Who looks down at a beautiful okay. ace king. This is interesting. 1.2 million. Max slightly outchips Derek, but they are clear one and two. Derek going to pump it up to 1.2 million here. I expect Pat will fold, and I have no idea what Max will do. Playing these situations out of position is never fun. Pardon? Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. How much is it? And Derek is not happy about this. I know he has ace king and that's a really strong hand and I doubt he's going to get away. But the last thing he wants to do when he's basically even in chips with Max is just take a flip to see who's the chip leader and who's out in third. And look at this, Derek's gonna make the call with the flip. I was afraid you were going to have that. It was a big flip. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't want this either. Yeah. I'm not folding up. These guys are gamblers. They're going for the gusto. They're going for it all. 
The happiest guy is Pat Quinn, of course. Yes. Yeah, I think I got this. Flip master, bro. Maxim. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this guy. I mean, he just does not care. He's having so much fun over there. No nerves at all. You can see Derek Walters, meanwhile, is on... I mean, he's out of his seat, but he's on the edge of his seat. Flops a queen, jack, nine, sevens out in front so far. Oh, man, Derek just saying, 10 ace, king, 10 ace, king, please one time. Maxime in a beautiful position to break Derek Walters. Certainly would be dirty if it came a running queen jack. But Derek really looking for an ace king or ten. Turn card is a deuce, not gonna help Derek Walters. Yeah. Max says that's the one I like. Derek is one card away from elimination. Derek's like, really? This is how I go out? I play great all night and then I have to play this massive coin flip and this is how it ends for me? Really? Last card yes. coming up, it's a deuce, it's that over! This is how it ends for Derek Walters, elimination. Derek Walters from Arizona out in third place. Max has been full steam ahead to take this massive chip lead into heads up against Pat. Just never know when you're a pub man. Okay, back to the action here, Maxine, with a ugly look at 8-4. Just calling. Here's the flop. Ace, Jack six. Pat with queen high, Max with eight high. Yeah, yet again, nothing for either player. Tiny stab for Max here for 200,000. Come on. Up. Whoa, Pat, slow down. <laughs> oh boy, he must love poker. He bets whether he has. Nope, nope, not time to put money in with a good hand. A huh. Deception there for Pat. I like that about him, just calling. And Maxime not gonna raise with Jack 10. We're gonna see three cards. And the flop is an ace jack, do so. Max hitting jacks. Well, Max takes the lead here. He's been playing these medium strength hands pretty slow thus far at this final table. And both players check this flop, which brings us to a five of hearts on the turn. Now there's a number of draws out there. Nope, Max still not gonna bet. Pat also not gonna bet. Yeah, wisely checking that. Five on the river, pairing the board. Now Maxime will probably bet. Yeah, he wants a little value here. He's been so patient. And he's gonna put in a 375 teaser for him. Oh, that's an insta call by Pat. He's not gonna like it. But that's the way it goes. So Maxime getting ever so close to taking down a title here in Montreal to succeed Mike Sexton, who won it last year. Winner's gonna take home 403,000. Lines are one and two, and here we go. Pat now with a nine seven with the button. And he will just call again, no raise. Max, the 26 year old poker pro with a four deuce of diamonds, gonna see three cards, no raise here. The flop is, wow, a six, five, four, two diamonds. What a flop. Max, pair, gut shot, flush draw, pat, over cards, straight draw. Ugh, can't imagine that there won't be a bunch of money in the middle. That's on pat, it's been checked to. Oh boy, he is gonna yep. push it. He's gonna push it all in. That has been Pat's move lately, and uh, Max, I'm sure, will be happy to gamble here. Yeah, He's flush. Just like, yeah, let's go. Pair of fours, he turns him up, he calls. Max is a nice favorite here to become our champion. It's a nice round. Good luck. Pat looking for an eight, a nine. Turn card is a deuce. Okay, just one more card to fade, and Max is gonna be the champion. And he catches straight, or otherwise it's over. Max will take this championship, the local. It's a deuce, and Max has done it! The hometown hero takes down the pole owner. Yeah, tremendous effort by him. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I, I'm happy with a top two results. Obviously, I would have liked to have the top coming in as the chip leader. We'll play the four deuce of diamonds. Maxime, how did that feel? <laughs> feels good. I, I felt like gambling at the end, you know? I wasn't going to fold. 